Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Today we are reading Izzy Gizmo written by Pip Jones and illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. This is published by Peachtree Publishers and it's the story of a young inventor. I think you're really gonna like this one. Izzy Gizmo, written by Pip Jones, illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. My favorite part about this book is that it has some great rhymes. Here we go. Izzy Gizmo, a girl who loved to invent, carried her tool bag wherever she went in case she discovered a thing to be mended or a gadget to tweak to make it more splendid. So here's Izzy and Izzy's grandfather. And wow, look at this interesting invention that she made. I wonder what that does. But the trouble with things that have dials and switches is they don't always work. They have certain glitches. The T. Mendes, for instance, did such a fine job till it popped out a piston and off dropped a knob. Oh, that looks like a tea making robot and oof, looks like it had a little accident. And then the Swizzy Spag Sonic for eating spaghetti turned Grandpa's wallpaper into confetti. Whoosh, look at that, oops. Looks like it didn't do exactly what it was supposed to do. The Beard-tastic had Grandpa near perfectly styled till the foam overflowed and the clippers went wild. Uh-oh. Well, Isabel, who was so clever and bright, would rather get cross when things didn't go right. And she huffed, it's too tough. I've had it. I quit. And she kicked her invention and she called it a twit. <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of a not nice word, isn't it? So, oh look, everything was going well. Something went wrong with the invention and poor Izzy got frustrated. And oh boy, it gave her grandpa quite a silly haircut. Isabel fumed. Grandpa smiled and chuckled. Oh, you can't just quit cause that thingy Bob buckled. Now trust me, young lady, sometimes you need to try again and again if you want to succeed. Mm, perhaps Grandpa was right, but still, <sighs> Isabel sighed and she picked up her tool bag and she wandered outside. Kicking the stones on the path as she walked, Izzy jumped at a bump. Up ahead, something squawked. Ooh, I see some animals here. I see a frog and some crows, and I wonder what was squawking. From the clouds, a poor crow had taken a tumble and landed kapoof in a feathery jumble. Izzy ran to the vets, but he just shook his head. His wing is too broken to fix, the doc said. Perhaps take him home and there you could try to teach him to live as a crow who can't fly. Oh dear, crows have wings, they're birds, they're meant to fly and this poor crow can't use its wings right now. I wonder what's gonna happen. Day after day, Izzy thought she had found something fun for her crow to do on the ground, like digging for worms and racing fat slugs, hopscotch and hoopla and searching for bugs. But the heartbroken crow simply gazed at the sky as the other birds sang and flew happily by. Oh, look at the poor crow looking at the other birds flying by, feeling maybe a little lonely and sad. One night with the crow in the folds of her sweater, Izzy sighed, oh, I wish I could make him feel better. I've tried, he won't play, he won't drink, he won't eat. Ah, <sighs> she was so very close to admitting defeat. See that poor crow, he doesn't even wanna eat all this yummy fruit, watermelon and grapes and strawberries, ooh. And Grandpa said, Izzy, don't give up on him now. I know you can do it. Just work on how. Then Grandpa passed Izzy her gadgety things and she knew what to do. I'll invent some new wings. Ooh, she has an idea finally. 
Izzy piled up her books and she started to read and then she made a long list of the things she would need. She searched for some batteries and old electronics, dismantled a mixture and the swirly spag sonic. The crow watched in trance and held Izzy's drill while she bent and bashed and battered and walloped until... <gasps> Ta-da! Izzy fastened the wings with a strap, but they hummed and they twitched far too heavy to flap. Oh, looks like her first try didn't work out so well. Ah, Izzy yelled, I'm no good at succeeding. And the crow softly cawed, his beady eyes pleading. What now, Izzy cried. Try again, Grandpa said. Okay, follow me. And with that, off she sped. Izzy dove in a pond where she borrowed a pump. Then she took from an engine two sprockets and a sump. Ooh, looks like she's borrowing things from other people and they're not really noticing. Ooh, Izzy fastened the wings. They were light, they were curvy, but the wings the wrong shape. They turned the crow topsy-turvy. Uh-oh, it went upside down. That didn't work either. I give up. Izzy yelled with a furious frown, and the crow sadly cawed as she hung upside down. So Izzy unscrewed the head from the shower. She found special circuits to adjust the wing's power. And finally, using her trusty old pliers, she borrowed the motors from two big blow dryers. Oh my, looks like some people were using those. Yes! Izzy said, the sh right shape and the perfect weight, but one wing flapped madly and the crow couldn't fly straight. I've had it, yelled Izzy, heading straight for a bin, but the crow blocked her path. He just wouldn't give in. See, now the crow believes in her more than she believes in herself. Izzy twizzled and tinkered and using his beak, the tie-tapping crow gave the screws a Good tweak, and then he loosened the cog from Grandpa's old mixer. <gasps> you can fly, Izzy said. Your name should be Fixer. Look at that, it finally worked. All of her hard work paid off. After two loop the loops, Fixer came in to land and stood happily cawing upon Izzy's hand. Caw, caw. You tried very hard, Grandpa said, and succeeded. You kept at it, Izzy. You did what was needed. But don't pack your tools up. Your day's not quite ended. A few things around here now need to be mended. Oh, here come the ladies with their hair dryers and the bikers with their motorcycle and the fisherman looking for his pump. Oh, and the lady from the laundromat. Oh, Izzy had borrowed things from all of these people to make her invention for Fixer the Crow, but now their things need to be fixed. And that is the end. What did you think of that story? I really like that Izzy didn't give up. She needed a little encouragement from some others, but she eventually did what she wanted to do, and she helped the crow learn to fly again. Isn't that awesome? So, thank you all for reading with me. I will see you tomorrow for more great books. Thanks for watching.